Thank you for tuning to another episode of Shifty Culture. I'm your host, Kizzy, and today I got my guest, Sir Petty258 on Instagram. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Yep. How's your day, man? I can't complain. Got up early, made some money. I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? Got to clock into dad duty after this. Mm. You know, regular life. What about you? How was everything? Um, you know, I was off today, so honestly, I've been chilling. Um, got homeboy thumping upstairs, so hopefully y'all don't really, you know, hear him too much. Facts, um, you know it how it is. is. So, um, yo, it's like, how's your timeline been? Like, like, what's your, you know what I'm saying? What's, what's going on with your media right now? Basically, all right. I just got done watching the Dave Chappelle special, right, on mm-hmm. Netflix. I haven't seen it. How was it? It was great. Phenomenal, great intellectual comedy that still, you know, they delivered the message. They say he's one of the smartest uh, and, I guess, wisest comedians, you know, yeah. thus far, because he can still send a message and, you know, say it's comedic. It's, it's not, and it's not offensive. It doesn't cross the line, right? Yeah, it's not offensive. It's only, I feel like it's only offensive if you want it to be offensive. You know what I'm saying? It's like... It's not no straight, like, gut punchers. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. more like how I look at it, like, eye openers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Perspective comedy, basically. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and this one, um, from what I see on, you know, a couple of reviews out there, this is more him answering back to the people commenting on his comments of his last specials. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, it's like a conversational piece, basically. Like, all right, my last special, I said this. This is what you felt about it or said to me about it. Mm-hmm. Now this is my re-answer to, you know, y'all y'all comments out there. Isn't it kind of like basically it's he has filters, but at the same time, it's kinda like you know how he was getting backlash from the last one? You know right. what I'm saying? For saying, mm-hmm. I guess, you know, talking about I guess the trans uh LGBT, LGBT. Uh, mm-hmm. community. But it's like you think he's gonna come out with this one, okay, he's not gonna do it, right? But he's like, Nope, still don't nah. <laughs> but at the same time he's smart with it because he does it so that it's not offensive to where they have to take it down. You know what I'm saying? Like I think, in a sense, the LGBT, it's like, sometimes, sometimes, mm-hmm. people look to be offended. You know what I'm saying? And Fact. And, like, I know you see into the comedy, but, like, the biggest message of the, uh, not, like, the biggest, but one of the messages of mm-hmm. it was basically, all right, so, he's saying, you know, the LGBTQ may have a problem with, like, his jokes, right? Yeah. But you're not having uh, a problem with other society problems right. or So when they tell people, the black jokes, you're going to laugh at that. When they tell, like, the handicapped jokes, you're going to laugh at that. But at the exactly. same time, if you want to be included with our, you know what I'm saying, with everyone else and us and we're recognized, exactly. you know, um, as everyone else, you can't sit here and, and want us to exclude you when it comes to these things. You're going to be included, be included. You know exactly. So he's like, but also that is like, even outside of just the jokes, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's about... Uh, being a human, you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, you don't want people to talk about transgender or, you know, gay people or whatever like that. But when when your group of people feel offended, mm-hmm. y'all then do exactly the thing that they're saying you don't want people to done, you know, do to you. Which is? Start attacking people, calling oh, them names, yeah, you see yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Okay. So it's like, I, I don't know, you know, it's a bashing. I don't want to say mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's some kind of bashing, no mm-hmm. matter which way you look at it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, then he even broke it down to kind of like gender and race a little bit, mm-hmm. like how you may be a, a white transgender, so you're fighting for no, yeah, let's say you're a white transgender, but you're a racist, right? So <laughs> that's what he says, isn't it? No, no, I'm just saying, oh, but that's okay. like an example, right? Yeah. So it's like, you know, you're fighting for equality once again, which is I'm a transgender, I want to be accepted, you know, all over, mm-hmm. but then you may not like a black person, which is literally against what you're fighting. You know what I'm saying? So, so he's speaking on real issues at the same time. Exactly. Everything's about, like I said, it's perspective. Like, um, he told his side of, you know, he told his jokes about it, right? Mm-hmm. And then he even at the end of it told the um, the story about him, his transgender friend that basically uh, oh, yeah. loved his comedy. Yeah. Um, and who unfortunately she got attacked by the um, the same community she was community. with right and, that, and that's what probably most likely pushed her to commit suicide exactly so it's, it's one of those like hey I'm not is that I have my my, my perspectives or my jokes about it right mm-hmm. not saying I dislike you I'm against it or whatever but he did have basically he was saying he was like some things are facts okay you know what I'm saying like with the whole he was like hey everybody in this room was came, you know basically came from a woman those right. are facts. That, right. Those are your genetics. Right. You can't be offended by that. You know what I'm saying? Like, or no, you but, can be offended, but no. But he's saying that's what a woman is. Oh, so it's like it's kind of like, in a sense, he's hinting that just because you had a sex change, just because you dress like a woman, like unless you know you 
you kind of were born, born with the parts to reproduce, you're in, still in not a, sen- a woman. In a sense, because he was basically saying, like, all right, the, one of the best examples he said on there for me mm-hmm. was think about, basically he's saying, like, it's a group of women out there who are maybe offended by transgender women, right? Because it's like, hey, you're trying to replicate a woman, right? Yeah. So the best way, well, one of the examples he used was, like, uh, think about a white person using blackface for, uh, you know, mm-hmm. a black person. Mm-hmm. And that's how maybe a woman may feel about a transgender mm-hmm. person. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, and like I said, all, like, kind of yeah. just perspective. Yeah, that's true. Like, right. So, like, that's just his perspective. And that's, that's actually, it's not just his perspective. He's speaking on Facts. the perspective of others as well. Yeah. And you just don't want him to talk about it at all? And that, that like, is that what's offensive? Yeah. I, I, I don't know if it's more... You know, some people don't want to just have the open dialogue about mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But uh, if you're fighting for equality, it's basically you want the same treatment for everybody. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If you're going to laugh at a Hispanic joke, laugh at it. Fat joke, skinny, you know, whatever it is. Right. It's just your perspective on it. Uh, basically, like I don't feel like he said anything offensive. It was very witty. Uh, like I said, delivered a message. Uh, and, you know, I, I liked it, personally. Yeah, I want to go back and see it. And that's the thing where it's just like... Um, I've seen it twice already. <laughs> you got to catch it the third time, you know? I'm about to. Uh, no, that thing is good. Um, actually, I don't know, like, something like that I want to sit down and watch with somebody. I don't just watch by myself, but I guess, Definitely. you know, I kind of like, now I'm, I am interested. I'm just like, well, you know, do I really want to wait longer? I kind of am, you know, interested in seeing right. it a lot sooner. So just to see, like, the points that he makes and, you know, see his jokes and things like that. But I definitely recommend it. I give it a 10 out of 10. Mm. For my comedy, but uh, the rating. last Kevin Hart one, definitely. Well, we already know Dave Chappelle's the goat, so. Hey, there you go. You know what I'm saying. But now, so like with Netflix, um, it's interesting because they're saying like. They're saying that they're asking you to cancel Dave Chappelle, right? Right. How do you feel about that? I mean, as long as he's not saying out, I mean, you know, using any homophobic slurs, like right. you can like him, you cannot like, you don't have to watch it. To try and you call him transphobic, but you want all right here. Here's something about the backlash, right? So I'm on my Instagram, you know, everybody's talking about it. One thing he said was if this is uh, being canceled, he loves it, right? Mm-hmm. So especially on the business part side for Netflix, still right? still money for it. He, everybody's talking about it. That's mm-hmm. exactly what you want for the business. Netflix is paying him all this money for each of these series, right? Mm-hmm. He's recouping the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, then, but what I was saying, like, I was on Instagram or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And they was talking about how on Netflix, I guess, some of the uh, transgender people who work there, mm-hmm. or maybe the LGBT, you know, whoever it is, yeah. decided, you know, on, I think I They told, wanted to, like, I guess, just walk crash out. a meeting or something like that? No, they was going to walk out. Like, hey, if you don't take it down by this date or whatever, we're going to walk out. So you know how we do. Nigga on Instagram was like, hey. It's going to be some job openings on Netflix <laughs> or, yeah. or October 20th. But that's the thing, though. Like, um, they've already given – they've already paid Chappelle, but they're going to pay him, right? Facts. He already so, got his money. I don't know how much these people were making, but it's okay. Let's say they equal $500,000 a year to all the people that walked out. Like, maybe even $100,000. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No. Oh, he's bringing let's say yeah. $500,000. Exactly. Does that amount to them? Like, because they've already given the money, so it's just like, okay, so we're just supposed to – lose out on this money that we pay Chappelle right and you know what I'm saying stop the traffic that's coming in because you gotta understand it probably right. would not be as much traffic coming into Netflix if you didn't start sitting here making a big fuss about it yeah well you, you like some it. people probably heard about the day Chappelle okay I see you when I see it but now that there's controversy people is drawing you, more people to Netflix so yeah. they're making money off of it and that's part of the genius of Chappelle where right. he still he knew where he was gonna do with this right mm-hmm. like like I said I feel like all he this made thing. it so that he can't like he basically cannot be canceled he can, yeah, but at but the same time, they're not going to. I'm saying, like, even how far he, he thought into it, right? Mm-hmm. He's writing his, you know, his comedy special. He know what backlash going to come with. That's why I feel like the way he delivered it, the wording he used, the way everything was very strategic. So when this point comes, it's like, mm-hmm. all right, now go ahead. Tell me what I said wrong. It's, you know, like I said, it's a joke, but tell me what I was offensive. But even in there, he said, listen, if you really listen to all my jokes, mm-hmm. they're not even about the LGBT people. You know, mm-hmm. group. It's about Equality the white people. General. No, it's about the white people. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, listen, the white people make us everything in the world white people. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if you're, once again, if you want to be offended, you're going to be offended. Because this joke's not even That's about what I you. Say. Sometimes people look to be offended. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, is it, is it really that? Like, I might say something. I may say, hey, you know, like, uh, I think, and I'm not going to use that example, but let's, let's say I say, oh, when I was younger, you know, my mom used to take us to 
the white neighborhood, you know, to look at houses right. to say, okay, well, you can have this someday if you work hard, right? Right. Somebody might be like, oh, well, black people have nice houses too. I didn't say they didn't. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly. kind of like you're trying to play the victim in something that... You get, that hey, if, if the shoe don't fit, you know, you can't wear it. You know what I'm saying? Or you shouldn't wear it. <laughs> so... Wait, but let me ask you this. That up. The shoe don't fit, you shouldn't wear it. I thought it nah, was but, the shoe fits wear it. Right, so if it don't fit. Okay. I mean, it's the same. But see, I just, it's I, the I, same. I've never heard that. Yeah, well, that it's that the same action. example that you just said. In a, yeah. I mean, I like how you made that. It's just like, yeah, the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. Like, I was like, wait, look. You know what I'm <laughs> Toxic as fuck podcast. Make sure you go subscribe, comment, like, tell a friend, tell a friend. Sir Petty 258. All right, you know, you got to. Yeah, I'm definitely cutting that out of Hey, you got to promo it. Yeah. Out here, but look, how about we um we get you know a call and see what you know how they feel about that um as well as like have you heard about the Sydney Star situation? Her dating like uh I don't know his real name, but it's like the son that the guy who played the song Family Matters.